Friday morning, and here's the headline. There's a lot of questions in Eugene, and the big one is where do they go from here? First time Oregon has fired their football coach in 40 years. Mark Helfrich coming off a 4-8 and eight season, 37-16 and 16 overall. And for much more on this big story out in Eugene and in college football, let's bring in Chantel Jennings, who joins us live. Chantel, uh, you know, two years ago, Helfrich was one win away from a national championship. How did we get here to yesterday's events? I have been thinking that same thing all season. I've sat in this press box behind me for a few games this year, and I've been sitting there thinking, there was a Heisman winner playing on this field two years ago. I watched them go to the national title game, and right now this looks like a JV high school football team. How did we get there? I think the answer is multiple fold. You look at the coaching staff. He hired Don Pelham as his defensive coordinator. Mark Helfrich hired him, then had to demote him, then brought in Brady Hoke. The experiment there didn't go as well. And then you look on the player side. They've had massive failures on the recruiting trail as far as quarterbacks go. Last year we watched as they had to go to an FCS transfer with Vernon Adams Jr. out of Eastern Washington. This year they had to do the same going to Montana State just to get Dakota Prukop. All of this ends up with them starting a true freshman who lives a 20-minute walk from this stadium. So basically you look at what they've done on the coaching staff and what they've done on the field, and that has equaled enough to to have a team that really can't put it together in the Pac-12. And at the same time, you have the tides rising in USC and Washington, and I think that kind of pushed the hand of athletic director Rob Mullins. It is the perfect storm in this situation here. So let's take a look at some of the candidates to replace a guy like Helfrich, who replaced Chip Kelly. Chantel, can you, can you hear me? I who are these candidates? So I think you have to look at a few of the group of five guys, maybe people we'd consider up and comers. Brian Harson out of Boise State. He's a local guy, more or less, when you look at the Pacific Northwest. I think what also makes him intriguing is he is a Chris Peterson hire. He was Chris Peterson's first OC hire at Boise State a few years ago, so that makes the Washington-Oregon rivalry a little more intense. And then we go east of it to western Michigan, where you have a guy like P.J. Fleck. One of the things that athletic director Rob Mullen said was that reinvigorating the fan base was really important to him and if you want a guy who can reinvigorate a fan base and a team PJ Fleck is your guy I think he's absolutely fantastic at that then we look at Dana Holgerson out of West Virginia he is a guy from the Hal Mummy Air Raid School and you look at the tide in the Pac-12 right now especially the Pac-12 North with Sonny Dykes at Cal Mike Leach at Washington State and Chris Peterson at Washington two of those guys are out of the Air Raid School Chris Peterson's teams just put up a lot of points. You need to be able to score a lot of points in the Pac-12 North to win this division right now. And another name that I think we need to throw out right now is Scott Frost. He's the former offensive coordinator here. And yesterday, Rob Mullins said that the next coach will not come from this current staff. But... He said that the coaching tree is large and there are a lot of branches, sort of leaving open the possibility of a Scott Frost on a branch. He's only had one year at UCF, but they've done really well. And a lot of fans are actually hoping that the former offensive coordinator who was here during that 2014 run with Marcus Mariota might return to Eugene. How about a guy, and, and I mentioned him briefly, Chantel, and the only reason why I'm mentioning him again is because you see, you see the struggles Chip Kelly's gone through in Philadelphia just a year ago, and now he's lost 10 straight uh, as the head coach of the 49ers. Has that even been brought up or broached by anybody in Eugene? <laughs> Absolutely. I think you look at Chip Kelly, he's sort of that fix-all hire for the Ducks, right? I remember I was covering the Big Ten, and when Brady Hoke left, everyone was saying, oh, Jim Harbaugh. And I said, Jim Harbaugh would never come back to Michigan. Why would he come back to Michigan? And then he goes back to Michigan, and it was sort of that home run hire that no one thought would actually happen. And then he came back, and everyone said, Oh, that kind of makes sense. I think Chip Kelly is in that same vein. Whether he wants to come back to Eugene is a different story, though. Harbaugh didn't build Michigan. He was a player there. That was a part of his draw there. Chip Kelly built this program. If he wants to come back, he's risking failure at this school, um, which would be kind of a risk for him. All right, and he likes risks. We'll see how this plays out. Whoever comes in to take over the program, they will take over a team that finished 4 and 8, the worst record since 1991. Chantel, thank you for joining us this morning on SportsCenter AM.